always we admire and salute everybody who's making it through all these rough times, you know. I hope everybody is going to applaud the healthcare workers tomorrow. That's a new thing we've been doing in New York City, right? At 7 p.m. every day, you open a window, you open up a door, you step out on your porch or whatever, and you just make noise, clap and cheer and, and bang some pots together, ring some bells if you got them. It's been my alarm clock. My sleep schedule has been so weird. Because of COVID, I, uh, every day at 7, I'm like, oh, 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 who's it? And then I'm like, woo, yeah, just make some noise, you know? Let them know how, how you appreciate them, all the frontline workers. And, of course, you'll want to stop for a couple seconds so that you can hear everybody else doing it, because that's, that's pretty cool. Too. But then go right back to it. Uh, it's one way to send a message to them that we're all in this together, even when we're apart. And just like a game of HQ, we're all spread out all over the country but for a few minutes we're together playing one game. But only a few of you are going to split the prize, okay? Tonight's prize is $5,000. To be in that elite class, you need 12 correct answers. That's it. And then you can get you some money. But we can't let this night pass without spreading a little love, okay? A little love to the folks who need it. So we're matching that prize money and giving to a very special charity, San Francisco-based Glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since 1963, Glide has worked to break the cycles of poverty and marginalization in San Francisco, providing food, housing assistance, health care, and family services to those in need, all with the ideals of an inclusive and loving community. And there's never been more need than right now. That's why Glide has started a COVID-19 emergency response fund, to which HQ is proud to contribute $5,000. Yeah, baby. So check it out. Check them all out. It's uh, glide.org, okay? And they can certainly use all the help they can get. So if you got a little extra change, you know what I'm saying, you're feeling generous, glide.org. Hit them up. Okay. And that's how San Francisco is doing. How's the rest of you and the world around you, huh? Bet y'all ready for some trivia right about now. Real quick, I got to send a very special happy birthday shout out to my man Kevin. He's 14 today. Happy birthday, Kevin! Sucks that you can't be out playing laser tag or something, whatever 14 year olds do. Uh, but as soon as this is over, we're turning up, Kevin! Woo! Happy birthday! All right. Now, it's time to get to the questions, okay? So let's launch this trivia rocket to the asteroid belt. Huh? Huh? The asteroid? Okay. Question one <laughs> Which of these animals has hooves? Eagle, whale, or cow? Alright, nice going question. Now I'm imagining an eagle with hooves just landing on a tree branch and then sliding off. Hooves are very useful in the right context though. Like uh, walking around a pasture, you know, the way a cow does. 95,735 of you got it right. Oh yeah! Moving on to question number two. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. Okay. Q2. What 90s movie was directed by James Cameron? True Lies, Strange Days, or Point Break? Okay. The best directors do more than just direct. Look at their filmographies and you'll see credits for writing, executive producing, and even working in the editing room. And a heavyweight like James Cameron even managed to direct True Lies. I told you. I told you all. I literally said, you don't trust me. And that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. But this relationship's never going to get anywhere if y'all can't trust me, cuties. Okay? I told you it was True Lies. 59,000 of y'all, we're here. Okay? The rest of y'all, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Congratulations, you're moving on to question number three. Woo! All right. What is not the name of an early electronic computer? ENIAC, EPICAC, or UNIVAC? All right. The middle of the 20th century brought a lot of early achievements in computing power, right? Usually the size of a walk-in closet and able to add up to four numbers. And they were satirized in a Kurt Vonnegut story about a computer called Epicac. 
45,195 of y'all got that right. Epic hack. <laughs> Moving right along to question number four. A Zerg rush occurs in what video game franchise? Wing Commander, EVE Online, or Starcraft? A Zerg rush. Rush a Zerg. All right, one of the most thrilling moments in gaming comes when Dozens of Zergs are coming at you at once, right? And we see how strong your defenses are when StarCraft briefly becomes like a tower defense game. StarCraft, 43,906 of you got it right. Zerg Rush, baby. My favorite part is for the children. Let's go! Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Woo! Question five, y'all. Here we go. Brace yourselves. Which of these is an independent clause? The rain outside, taking an umbrella, or splashing in puddles? Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Give it to me now. Sanitizer break. Okay. I want to congratulate this clause for finally getting a steady job, renting its own apartment, and uh, becoming independent. But seriously, an independent clause is... is, is it's not just a, sin a sentence fragment, uh, but it could be its own sentence, like, take an umbrella. 27,270. I'm having a brain thingy happen. Blah, blah, blah. I like you do the cha-cha. 27,270. You know what it was? The sanitizer burned my finger. My cat scratched me early. I was trying to trim my nails. And then the sting just made me go, blah, 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 blah. I'm back. Here we go. Question number six, babies. What is not an ingredient in Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey Ice Cream? Fudge, bananas, or peanuts? Chunky Monkey Ice Cream. All right, two things we all know monkeys like are bananas and peanuts, right? If you've ever read a circus coloring book. So it's a little strange that Ben and Jerry gave us walnuts instead of peanuts. I'm sure... Monkeys like fudge, too. But come on! Support the stereotype. 18,945 peanuts! It's not in Chunky Monkey, y'all. All right. We're halfway through the game, babies. That means we got time for a quick break. I know y'all been binging hard during quarantine, so tell me which is the best show you've binged. Tiger King, Westworld, or Ozark? Maybe you started it. I know what it is. Tiger King! Carol Baskin! 51% <laughs> of y'all said Tiger King, and I don't blame you, okay? I saw a tiger, and now I understand. I saw a tiger, and a tiger saw a man. I knew that wasn't him singing it. As soon as I heard it, I was like, he talked different than he sings. That's weird. Okay, red flag. Question number seven. What did Nickelodeon use as its logo before a series of orange shapes? Silver ball, purple hippo, or peppermint stick? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 nick. Okay. Once upon a time, Nickelodeon was an independent channel with no commercials. Calling kids to the set with the logo of a silver ball. Then Viacom bought them and the logo became anything as long as it's orange. Word. Silver ball. Oh my gosh. That's a savage question. Woo. Savage question song. So you got it wrong. 7,846 of you got it right. Silver ball. Oh boy. Question number eight. Here we go. A Reebok slogan from the past 20 years resembles a catchphrase used by who? Mighty Mouse, Daffy Duck, or Papa? All right, everybody remembers Nike slogans, but how well does the competition stick with you? Mm -hmm. Well, 10 or 15 years ago, artists and athletes appeared in a series of ads proclaiming, I am what I am. Take a look at this. Old school indeed. Anybody craving some spinach right now? Popeye said that. 
I am what I am. All right, 7,030. Dirty birdies feeling flirty on the question number nine. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, which of these wide states is entirely in one time zone? Montana, Tennessee, or Texas? Texas comes so close, but the westernmost part pokes its El Paso into the mountain region. And the border between eastern and central plows right through Tennessee. But right now, it's a little after 7 p.m. everywhere in Montana. 4,557. Got it right. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in, shall we? Let go. So proud of y'all. Just breezing through these questions. All right, question 10. Here we go. Which of these NHL divisions has a team whose mascot is an extinct species? Pacific, Metropolitan, or Central? All right, now. Extinct species may not be, you know, they might not sound like tough mascots. It's like saying, come on, root for the dead losers. Yeah. But two teams have saber-toothed tiger mascots. Don't worry about Buffalo. Uh... Their Atlantic Division. But the Nashville Predators are Central Division. 3,400. One of y'all got that right. Moving on to question 11. All dogs go to heaven. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Q11. Michael Jackson's record number of single night Grammy was later tied by who? Adele, Santana, or Quincy Jones? All right, Thriller came out in 1983, right? Which is a little bit before my time. And the following year's Grammys were the Michael Jackson show. He strained his arm, taking home eight statues. All right, a feat we wouldn't see for another 16 years when Supernatural by Santana cleaned house. Oh, yeah, we got 3,105 of y'all moving on to the final question of the game. That's the last question. Woo! Final round. Who's ready for this? I am. Are y'all ready for this? Okay, here we go. Question 12. Let's get serious. This is for all the marbles. Don't fudge this up, babies. Which of these was the first comet viewed from a manned spacecraft? Comet Kohotek, Halley's Comet, or Comet Bennett? All right. There was a close call here where it was going to be Comet Bennett, but the Apollo 13 mission ran into some problems. You know how that goes. Uh, it delayed the viewing of a comet from space until 1973 when Kohotek blew by. 2003, y'all just won HQ Trivia. Wow! Give it up for yourselves. Bring some pots together. I don't have any pots here. Oh, that's cut. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Shout out to Henry Dove T. One eye. B. Two hug lover. Kid Matt Matt. That's what they used to call me when I was a Not Kid Matt Matt, but Matt Matt. Yep. Uh, Grissy Hashi. Damn, son. <laughs> Third string. Chico 99. Furry Cho. Congratulations, everybody. Y'all did that. You just won HQ Trivia. And you know what? If you're smart enough, you can probably do it again tomorrow. Because that's when we'll be back. Uh, yeah. So congratulations to everybody who won. And to everyone else, learning something trivial is still learning. Okay? Now you're better prepared for your next trivia game, which is tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It's me, your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, at Matt What's Funny. And I got a question. Did General Mills ever win any battles? Or was he just making cereal? Like the whole time. Like General Soap. No, that's true.